Hi, welcome to the Science Museum. My name's Sam and today we're looking at momentum. Rotation station is all about angular momentum. So let's see my friend Alexandra have some angular momentum. Alexandra gives herself angular momentum by pushing against the floor. The forces of friction and air resistance would eventually slow her down, but they are small. So her angular momentum stays more or less the same. Angular momentum can only change when forces are applied. And that's known as the conservation of angular momentum. So what determines angular momentum? Well, there's three things. It's our velocity, the mass, and the distance you are away from the middle. So if Alexandra starts spinning, and we decrease the distance from the middle by Alexandra pulling herself in, let's see what happens. Angular momentum stays the same. So if we decrease the distance from the middle, we have to keep it balanced. So the mass of velocity will have to increase. And we can't instantly increase the mass of Alexandra, so instead, the velocity of Alexandra will increase. Now, if she leans back out to increase the distance from the middle, the speed will also then decrease to keep momentum going the same. So Alexandra is covering the same amount of distance, either a small circle with a high velocity or a large circle with a lower velocity. Are you a bit dizzy now, Alexandra? Do you need to sit down 